So let's talk a little bit about foods. This is one of my favorite things for self-help is to figure out what foods are good for me and what not. So let me grab a few things here. I apologize, I didn't go out shopping for bad food, so I don't know if we'll get any here, but let's just see. So what I do is, if I can, I smell the food, but if you're going to the market, don't open the package, smell it, and say, oh, that's bad, and then put it back on the shelf, <laughs> okay? But I'll do this. So I've got hummus here. Oh, no. <laughs> Go back on my hummus. Okay, so if I didn't smell it, it's still, everything has a vibrational field, so a frequency. So I can put this in my field, which is basically within an inch or so of your body, and see what happens. See, it's not as strong as when I smell it. It's just sort of leaning back. But that's why, whenever possible, I like to smell a food. And if it's uh, in the, um, uh, like, say, your refrigerator, and it's a leftover, I will smell it and then see. It might have been great the day it made it, but by the next day or two or three especially, it goes bad, then I'll throw it in the trash. Okay, so let's go with an apple. It's an organic apple. And... See, it says organic on it. So hold the apple here, see what happens. All right, I'm going forward. Okay, now, so take some foods out from where you are and see what you get. And here's some cilantro. See how I do on this. Mm, ah, goes for it. Now, cilantro is particularly good for um, detoxing heavy metals. Um, as chlorella, and uh, there's other products like uh, Dr. Schultz uh, Formula 2. And in the biochemical course, we show you how you can test for heavy metals, but um, I was testing strong on that. I'm gonna show some sweeteners now. I've got various ones here, and you can see how you do on them. I've got stevia, sugar. Here's another brand of stevia. Then I've got equal, I've got raw turbinado sugar, and I got Splenda, okay? So I'll test these one at a time. So here's my stevia, and I can actually sniff it. Okay, so how am I doing on stevia? Oh, I'm doing good. Okay, let's do equal. I believe, is equal the same as NutraSweet? I never use this stuff, but it, I just have it around here, the original, okay? So zero calorie sweetener, oh my God. <laughs> Knock me down on my back, <laughs> okay? And <clears throat> just a note, artificial sweeteners are often very toxic. Here's Splenda, okay? So the no calorie sweetener, and people think, oh, this is sucralose. They think, oh, if it's zero calorie, it's gotta be good. Well, zero calorie is zero life force. That one goes off. So you can check these at home. If you got some of them, pull them out now and check them. So turbinado sugar. Hmm. Mm, not as bad, but I'm leaning back. Okay. <clears throat> and of course we got white sugar. Now, interestingly, yeah, I'm going back. If you test sugar on somebody and they're strong, they probably have what's called reverse adrenal. We cover that in the biochemical course where their adrenals are so depleted, their body starves for a quick hit of sugar. So I remember, I think that was, someone did that with Johnny Carson. He lived down the street from me when I lived in Malibu. Used to see him go by in his white Corvette and uh, never got to muscle test him, but he was on his show. He ended up uh, having someone say, oh, this muscle test is real good. Let me show you, go weak on sugar. And he didn't go weak. Well, he was probably so stressed from all his divorces that he was going through. <laughs> it's a pretty high stress guy. And um, so just note that if you do go strong on sugar, it doesn't mean go load up on sugar. It's possibly you have a reverse adrenal. By the way, for you in the biochemical course, you'll know there's a product called GSC, General uh, Stress Complex, I think it's, or glandular stress, something like that. But GSC, and I've got it here in the baggie, if a person goes strong on sugar, but then goes weak when you put the GSC, which is what they should do, that shows they're in a stage three adrenal, like a adrenal burnout, which is real common. <laughs> I mean, like probably more than half of us are walking around with adrenal burnout, but that's why we're doing these things today to have you do self-help. 